jumped. Welcome, welcome to a new stream. Welcome to another Half-Life 2 stream. I cannot believe myself. I cannot believe myself that we actually fluently enter the, stream, enter the stream without destroying everything, without making the world collapse, without creating an electrical shortage in the local electrical distribution uh, department or whatever they call themselves, yes. Picture yourself next to a fireplace. Everybody is gathered around and I will tell you a story about the Outlands. But first, I'm just going to ask you guys, how are you doing? What's up? What do you expect to hear? What do you expect to understand? What do you know about the Outlands? Siri says, Outland is basically the outskirts of City 17. Chat. Outlands is like a special name with a lot of fluency in color. But let me tell you something. What is Outlands? Outlands is, as Siri says, everything on the outskirts of City 17. By definition, the word Outlands is compromised from out and lands. In basicness, it is a boring word. Outlands, very special. They just, it's like you just had this uh, City 17 guy who just walked down the street, looked at the mountains there far away in the distance and be like, oh, those are lands and they are out of city. I will call them Outlands. It is like you have this Dr. Breen on top of his ivory tower who called them Outlands. I'm not sure who called them Outlands, but hey, Whatever, right? Somebody called them Outlands and it's simple as F, F in ice cream, all right? It's a basic word, but it has a, co it has a structure of complexity and questions to why it is free. That is the topic of today as to why this damn Outlands are free and why they haven't been taken control of by the evil uh, uh, combine. The Let's unravel the carpet. And let's not find a corpse in that carpet because that would be a very disappointing <laughs> thing. First, we got to figure out uh, who lives there. What is there? Resources, population. And after we figure that out, we can create our uh, structure, as, structure to the conclusion as to why the Combine never sought uh, dominion over that outla those outlands. Unless we're talking about episode 2, where they actually, finally, put their striders, put their meat into these uh, legendary Outlands. Siri says, main reason why Outland is free is because combined forces on Earth aren't made for forest environments. But that is why they made the Hunters. Siri, that is a nice observation. Every combined soldiers we saw are wearing City 17 urban camel, and none of them have any kind of equipment suitable for a forest environment. They have zero camouflage and even experience to a larger degree. As we see around many bases, they have crashed their gunships. They have died. They have been infested. What the hell is going on? Why are these soldiers so inept in dealing with such a situation? Because they were trained to be always in an urban environment. And those, why would you need soldiers for a environment different than that of urban or did that, than that of the urban one or you don't what's the point and i will tell you why but let's let's get there of course outline is also infested with zen and other aliens so siri many awful disgusting stupid zen creatures so outlands first and foremost is uh heavily infested with zen wildlife and lions uh there's even a lot of head crabs we haven't seen bull squids, but let's just presume there are. All the stupid Zen animals that your mind can conjure, they are in the Outlands. Leeches, uh, Antlion Guards. Uh. But there is richness in the Outlands. There is water. There is forests. There is life. Of course, there's many birds. There are no... Uh, it's like the stupid Zen animals pretty much destroyed the natural wildlife. In regards to those that are on four legs, everything that can fly can save itself from full demise. Now, you would say, but Markovas, it is full with zombies. The headcrab infestation is everywhere. Now, in episode two, we actually learned that the zombies that have flooded the Outlands are zombies from City 17, which means 
after the suit, you know, spoiler alert, but if you're here, you already know this kind of stuff. You expect me uh, not to uh, say things about Half-Life 2? It is impossible. It is something that I must do without any kind of repercussion in my head. Because we all know about Half-Life. If we don't know about Half-Life, can we call ourselves die-hard fans or just casual fans? We are not casual fans, and if we are, we will transcend casualness and find ourselves on the next steps on the, on the next step of the staircase. I forgot where it was. Damn it! Uh, <laughs> give me a second, chat. So the zombies from City Seventeen are pretty much everybody died after the City Seventeen explode after the city there was explosion in Episode One. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people died, and those people were infested by headcrabs. Headcrabs were used as a bioweapon by the Combine. They pretty much had these canisters, which they would fling at people whom they, they disliked. And so we have infestation of people. And these zombies, you know, they scatter around, they look for food, and they just kind of exit City 17 and start flooding the mountains. They start flooding the outlands. And Outlands are in in interestingly situated on a mountain ridge or just higher elevation than City 17. And all these zombies that we see are not the uh, native population. They are City 17 population. And when we explore things, we already have these hunters. What are these hunters? They are, in a way, the... They are riders. I think in... in uh, like the previous spouse, they were called ministriders. But hey, why would you call something that looks like a hunter a ministrider is beyond any kind of uh, logic? <laughs> Outland is the countryside with no development, only structures made by locals. Siri, the Outlands have a very... Uh, actually, they have a pretty well-made infrastructure. Coal mines, a lot of mines... A lot of tra train tracks, it's like serious amount of train tracks that lead somewhere. So this place was and is a center of resources. All these trains, they led to somewhere. We also see Razor, you know, combine trains as we drive the, the sexy Jeep. We see those Razor trains on the train tracks, which means this is a place with resources. The Combine wouldn't just say no to resources. Their point on Earth is to get all technology, all resources, put them in one big box and take them away. Or use them, whatever the case. But we don't really see Combine outposts. We don't see base of operations. All we see is rebel-controlled infrastructure. Everything is being controlled by rebels. These rebels had been there forever. It is the Outlands are the Raven home of City 17. But outside the city. For, for me, Raven home was, and of course was and no longer is, a hub for rebellion. And so the Combine decided to enter rebellion in its tracks. But they can't exactly end rebellion because they have to go into the Outlands. But for the Combine, going into the Outlands is stupid. It's pointless. Why would you waste so much manpower, so much resources to try and reclaim these uh, aggressive planes where there's ant lions and all kind of trash trying to kill you? It is impossible to conquer without a lot of losses. So for the Combine, it's a calculated move. They let the rebels fight with the stupid Zen animals. Yeah, they just let the rebels deal with that. And Vortigons. Why should they uh, tr lose soldiers fighting ant lions when they can just let the stupid rebellion deal with that? That is their, that is their uh, way of thinking about things. And when things are, and when things would take a turn for the worse for the rebellion, just as it did, although in this case it took a bad turn for the combine, when uh, the Combine was pushed to shove, for, in this case, when the Citadel exploded and it was trying to send a distress signal to the Combine homeland. They knew about this uh, rocket, because they definitely had spies. And so they had to do everything in their power to try and destroy White Forest. And they threw a lot of soldiers and striders and gunships and whatever in that case, they just threw it at them. 
and they lost a lot. If Golden returns in 30 to 40 years after the Combine occupation, I'm sure that Outlands would literally be a city by the time Golden arrives. Siri, I'm not sure if they would really... Maybe they would. It's not exactly a best place to make a city, but it's definitely rich with life. You have water, you have forests, you have, you have all the opportunities to make an antlion farm and milk those antlions uh, to make cheese. Finally, Earth will no longer be uh, desolated with th this cheeseless, meaningless existence. Uh, finally, humans will be able to achieve uh, the perfect cheese, the perfect yogurt. You know yogurt? It is like a... I cannot even explain it. You eat yogurt with bread. It is like you're eating gold, molten cold gold. Yes, 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 yes. Everybody else who hasn't joined the Discord, do not join it. Ta da! Oh, you didn't expect that cliffhanger, did you? Siri says if you look uh, close behind City 17, there's more mountain behind it. So we can assume that City 17 is surrounded with mountains. It is. It's highly likely that it's somewhere in the Balkans. And in the Balkans, it's full with mountains. And these mountains are very tricky to traverse. If you've... I'd say that many of you have walked a mountain. Like a serious mountain. That thing is just a hassle. And if, if the path hasn't been uh, trodden, it's nearly impossible to get anywhere. So you have all these combined soldiers, these uh, methods of transportation, and then you have sab saboteurs. Bridges are destroyed. Tunnels have been collapsed. There are... It's like in Vietnam. There's forests. There's cover. There's rebellion. There's mines. There's RPGs. There's all kinds of resistance. But the Combine, getting close to this place is just awful. But when the knife goes for the throat, the Combine must act, no matter how much they would lose. And they do act. And they do a lot of damage. And yet, a lot of damage is done to them. Like, I think Golden came back at the right time when the Combine had a weak face. Even Barney, of all people, could work undercover. Hassan, what are you saying, even Barney? Barney is a smart professional. He has been undercover for so long. <laughs> Hassan, Barney is pretty good at his job. He's been a security guard at Black Mesa for who knows how long. He knows the in and outs of being security. Being a Metro Cop is nothing special. You can, like any civilian could just enroll in, met in civil protection. When you enter the plaza after nearly getting beaten, good thing that it was Barney to save him. When you enter the plaza and you actually press the E key on one of the civilians, they say, I'm thinking about uh, enrolling in civil protection just to get some more food. So, Anybody can join civil protection. So Barney being part of that isn't something crazy. The Combine wants you to join civil protection. For them, more people joining civil protection means it's just easier to acquisition the human race. This was Dr. Breen's plan all along. to Get more people into the system. And by making them hungry, it creates the incentive to join the side which will give you that which you do not have. In short, they give you food. Can we hear the music flowing through your ears? Through my ears? I can hear something. It is making me want to jump on a car. The muscle car. Yes, let us find our muscle car in uh, screenshots. Oh, no, no, that, that is worms. Oh, this is dead Alex. I do not want wish to look at corpse of dead Alex. Where is my car? Markovas demands to get his jeep. Oh God, he's a monkey. Let's just stay here near the campfire. <clears throat> so, we are driving on this beautiful car. And around us are dirty roads forgotten by time. And yet, our perspective drives us forward into the solace of these tall mountains. In the distance, white peaks are protruding into nature's dominion over this earth. For we, we have saw destruction, we have experienced demise, explosive radiation has touched our skin, 
and yet foremost has been our quest to survive and find safety in the unspoiled lands of the Outlands. The distance, it is distant yet it's close, and our wheels blow dirt behind us. The zombies of the city, those that are dead, are trying to catch up, but the fumes of yesterday are smothering their lungs, for we are those who survive. Chat, hopefully that was cool, a little bit. Hopefully that was a little bit cool.